Raquel Roth, thank you once again for tuning back into my channel. I hope all is well with you and yours. And today I made some mini pizzas. Yes. Oh, I got the um dough is a um the it's a flat not flat bread, it's um a thin crust. Um ready to bake. And then I just built all my toppings and I my sauce and all of that. But anyway. As always, I will have some pictures and um, some videos of the making of. So we'll get into that. So we get into this, but first of all, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notifications if you'd like to leave a comment. Even if it's just to say hi, I will say hi back. So let's go ahead and get into that so we can get into this because this smells so good and I'm ready to eat. elements that especially this particular one this um by the time i finish editing maybe i'll have the full name for it right now i'm just calling it a spicy um like a spicy italian chicken pizza i'll come up with the name i don't know but um with the elements as you can see with i tasted each one of them of course when i'm developing my flavors but then this will be my first taste of it all together because I didn't like make a test pizza with all of the elements together. But we were just going, you know, just going with it and just trusting my senses. So I've cut them in here. So I'm ready. Let's go ahead and start with this one. So I got nice little cuts here. Can you see this? Well, I look like I'm like. Oh my goodness, I don't know where to start in the fresh mozzarella. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Mm. Raquel, what? You did that, I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I kid you not, cause you know, I always say I love heat and flavor. And this definitely has it. From all the jalapenos and the spices and things I've used from the garden. Oh my gosh, I made that sauce. The tomato base and everything it is it is blazing with that sambal or sambal oil like oh my goodness that has some heat in there but all the flavor oh my gosh and i love that little um glaze that i made so it just adds a little bit of like sweetness to it not too much but just the right amount this is my cute little um my spicy pepperoni here, and because I'm, um, I said, uh oh, <laughs> want some more to see. 
I made sure um, that now I use the same, of course, the, um, the same tomato based kind of spicy Italian sauce that I made. Um, oh, and then I mentioned too, oh, that, that garlic spread that made the cream cheese and everything. Ooh, everything about it is just, yes. So this has a spice element there. And also after I finished, um, when I took it out of the oven, I did um, put some red pepper flakes on the outside there. So let's get into it. Get into it. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Go in. Love pepperoni. Mm. <laughs> mm. You'll hear the crunch. Mm. I have fresh mozzarella. Mm, mm, mm. So y'all, I'm about to enjoy some more bites here and enjoy my evening. Um, and then I'm just gonna finish and I love that, uh, you know, I try as much as possible to just keep the kitchen clean as I go. But um, I'm gonna get everything ready and then get myself ready for bed. Um, this is so, so delicious. Oh, and today, if I'm back, I should just have some water. Uh, once again, this is Raquel Rock. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notifications if you'd like to leave a comment. Even if it's just to say hi, I will say hi back. And if you have any suggestions, something that you want me to try, doesn't have to be specifically food related, just let me know respectfully. And don't forget to share the channel. To tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. And then we can all be what? Friends. Until next time, this is Raquel Rock. Matinee.